Hi, this is Shadi. Today I want to discuss gi throwing and no gi throwing from the fundamental standpoint. And to be honest, I just gotta say this after years of judo and now recently doing uh, no gi jiu jitsu, I realized that there isn't really much of a difference. And what do I mean by that? Sure, the jacket plays a big role making things. Uh, far more reachable or you have far more options but when it comes to the fundamentals and how you get someone to react or the points that you need to target when it comes to unbalancing they will forever be the same place the jacket in my opinion is just an intermediary that makes reaching that point far easier so recently i sparred and I had it all on video um, the stand-up so there was a lot of hand fighting and um, I got this kata guruma going on so I had one tricep grip and with the other I was tr trying to feint make it look like I'm busy and I pull on the tricep and then the my training partner was immediately aligned on my shoulders and so let's take a look at Kayla miracle and how she and talks about this uh, Olympic wrestler. So you see the tricep pull, and then it really isn't about hugging the leg. It's really about getting that person pulled down and aligned on your shoulders. And the tricep grip that you see a lot in wrestling, it really isn't that uh, unique to wrestling because kataguruma, the fundamental a part where you actually pull to unbalance and to load someone on your shoulder is actually on the sleeve the tricep and bicep area here olympic champion housinga is showing you that you do not actually need the uh, leg or to wrap your head hand around the leg you just have to be very close to the belt area with your neck and your shoulder and then you get them loaded on and from there your body can do the dumping now here in case they sprawl this is no longer a fireman's carry in wrestling it's considered a dump and in judo the same it is now a sutemi waza or where you sacrifice yourself so kayla here shows the same principle after her partner sprawls she rolls over very similarly and again she shows that you don't wrap because you can get entangled and it's not as effective and in jiu-jitsu specifically it can be dangerous so here she puts her arm around her back this is from the channel rudy's and she keeps the arm close to her and then from there the shoulders do the work as she sacrifices herself now let's take a look at the nage no kata fundamentals from the 1880s so it is where you are grabbing the sleeve here you see a bicep grip from the inside and the arm is simply posted on the thigh but what is important is having your neck and shoulders close to the hips and belt area and not so much grabbing the leg some people just i see them reaching out while they're very far away and trying to grab the leg and that's where you get into trouble so here you see, you need to be close with your head, not up high, close to the armpits. So the closer it is to the belt, the better. And you don't have to grip the pants or the leg. You j here it is demonstrated as putting the palm on the thigh just so it helps with the dump at the end and the finish. Not so much uh, essential like morotegari or sukuinage. Here, same principles I applied where I pulled on the tricep, I dropped down. Later, at the end, I got a grip on the leg, but it was not really needed. Now here, the hand fighting uh, continues. Please ignore the fact that I need a haircut. And so I wanted an overhook, but of course I couldn't get it. And uh, here, just basic uh, hand freeing techniques that you see in self-defense. I get an underhook. so work with what you got and a wrist grip and here stomp lift the leg pull on the inside of the shoulder 
and he retracts his hand so he can post it. Don't do that, but it was a great way, excuse me, to get into a guard pass. So I have to understand the difference between over and underhook. Here you see the over underhook, excuse me, you can pull and get someone unbalanced forward and that's important while in the overhook you can press down and forward which will get a far better uh, result in terms of unbalancing someone so uh, uchimata in no gi is far better in overhook when doing an overhook because you you have a lot more control and you unbalance better but if you want to do a seamless transition it's better to have an underhook for the pass so here you see i got double tricep grip and i pulled and then i got a reaction where uh, he get a pullback and then as he tried to get back up that's where i got in so um this centrifuge type reaction or composition again it's not new here you see in the um nage no kata again uh, overhook and underhook no gi again it's just the the jacket is an intermediary but the same points are still being targeted in my case it was the both of the uh, triceps and uh, i can pull on them easily the, the bigger the triceps obviously the better and i just pull with the wrist similar how you do a fishing movement when you're gripping a lapel um, or like a motorcycle type uh, action so you create that centrifuge and then once you see that little bit of relaxing that's where you attack in my case it was an uchimata but um here you see the same thing where you actually pull and the other person goes down and back as they are trying to resist again all the fundamentals are there it's not something that i practiced it's just simply something you just adapt to from years of experience now when you are first going into nogi is it weird of course you're not meant you're not used to it you've been gripping the gi for years and now you see someone that is somewhat far away from you and you don't have anything to grip them with it's it will feel weird but is it completely detrimental to your grappling no the fundamentals are still there and you will easily adapt to it i didn't have some special nogi training um it's all from my uh, muscle memory from training judo for years that were simply adapted into that situation and that's the whole goal of rendori is to adapt as the situation progresses none of this was planned or uh, premeditated so to speak so if you have anything to add let me know this was shadi and as always thank you for listening